what you see right behind me is Buffalo Creek and Gully 13. Buffalo Creek and Gully 13 was built by Alco Brooks in Dunkirk, New York in 1920 and is the 61579th steam locomotive built by that factory and is a 280 consolidation type steam locomotive and is a G7S class steam locomotive. It was originally built for the Kelly's Creek and Northwestern and was originally numbered 6 in Ward, West Virginia, and it hauled logs on that railroad as well. It was sold for scrap at Midwest Steel Corp. Then there was light at the end of the tunnel and it was saved. In 1954, the Buffalo Creek and Gully Railroad bought it and numbered it 13. Then it was sold for scrap again, but was once again saved. Then, in 1964, a man named William Stater bought the engine and was at Somerset, Pennsylvania. Then, in 1971, it was bought by the South Penn Museum in Altoona, Pennsylvania, where it was renumbered 662. Then, it was later moved to Ridgely, West Virginia. In 1976, it was bought by American Railroad Equipment Association, and it was then bought by Robert Spa in Elkhart, Indiana. In 1977, it was sold to the Lakeshore Railroad Historical Foundation in Elkhart, Indiana, and was renumbered 1977. Then, in 1978, it was moved to Middlebury, Indiana. Then, in 1980, it was moved to Logansport, Indiana, and three years later, sold to Logansport Iron Horse Festival. In 1992, it was bought by Jerry Jacobson for the Ohio Central, and he used it as a backup steam locomotive for the Canadian National Steam Locomotive 1551 on the railroad. This locomotive was last steamed in the mid-1990s, Today, it is seen at the Age of Steam Roundhouse in Sugar Creek, Ohio, where it is on display today. Also, Buffalo Creek and Gully 13 is one of three surviving 280s from the Buffalo Creek and Gully Railroad, and 13 can be found here at the Age of Steam Roundhouse in Sugar Creek, Ohio, where it is today.